Well, as exciting as Fox Sports coverage of all things Formula One is soundball or tennis for the visually impaired. Soundball isn't much different from tennis, really, but instead of hitting ordinary tennis balls, foam balls with rattling beads inside are used. These, or those, are sound balls made to be heard rather than seen. Also, the boundaries of the tennis court are raised so players can feel their way around the court. These enable the visually handicapped to enjoy racket sports. Have a look at this. Sound ball is basically tennis for the blind. This is the ball that we use. Beautiful! It's helped me to build up my, my confidence in myself. The game sound ball, tennis, we need to really focus. They really put their heart and soul into this game. So when they're 100%, you want to be 100% too. Nice shot. It's really rewarding for both the coach and the player, I think. We feel that it's, it's changing lives. <laughs> Very happy to say that Kenneth Ung, who's one of Soundball Singapore's co-founders, is with me in the studio. Kenneth, good to have you here. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Let's talk about Soundball. Let's talk about these balls, black and yellow. Tell me about them. What's the deal with those? OK. so. Um, the, the two different colors, um, so it's for uh, two different groups of different players. So okay. the, the black one's for the partially sighted players mm -hmm. um, because the um, badminton court that we're using, mm -hmm. uh, it's, so it's on, it has a lighter shade of uh, you know, the, the color. So the black one will stand out for the partially sighted. Okay. Um, and obviously the yellow ones, we use it for the totally blind players. Let's talk about the coaches as well. I know you've done some coaching. What do they have to do to take on the role of coaching visually impaired or, or almost blind players? Um, a, a number of our um, volunteer coaches, uh, they're either tennis players or uh, um, tennis coaches themselves. Mm. So um, a, a lot of what we do at Sambo is very similar to the regular tennis game, mm. um, but obviously we would then tailor it to for the visually impaired. Mm. Uh, so typically we say, look, you watch and learn, uh, but we can't do that, so we hold their uh, arms and, and, you know, teach them how to uh, swing the racket. Do they have to keep their eyes closed as well? Um, for coaches, when we... Well, were to understand what the players experience. Correct. Yes, yeah. so, so when we are developing a training program, um, exactly, we, we actually have to blindfold ourselves and put ourselves in their shoes and then develop the training program so that they know, uh, or we could, we could at least do that effectively with all our players. Um, as a co-founder, what do you want to happen to the sport? What do you want it to become? How big can it get? Um, I think in the longer term, we're looking at uh, Paralympics um, and obviously looking at partnering with Fox Sports Academy uh, to bring you know, soundball to uh, more of the visually impact community. Hmm. Kenneth, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio. It's really exciting. Good luck with soundball. Good luck to all the players as well. FoxSportsAsia.com forward slash Fox Sports Academy.